the question we should have been asking was, are these Starjoy pencils, oil or wax based? Because they're, the, the question and the answer is on Amazon. So you're going to be shocked to find out the answer to this question. Okay. And we got a little castle art conspiracy theory sprinkled in in there too guys and a little bit of other stuff you know <laughs> hey guys welcome to my channel thank you for stopping by today i will be sharing with you some very eye-opening and shocking information about the budget pencils that are made in china these are some deep dark juicy secrets that you don't want to miss so stay tuned. So I have before me two very known sets of budget-friendly pencils that you can find on Amazon. I have the Starjoy 120 colored pencils and the Castle Art 120 colored pencils. And as you can see, both cases look pretty similar with the matte black and a nice little picture on the tan and the color swatches are on the front of the tin and also in the inside of both tins so they look very 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 similar and i know that you know there has been like a lot of backlash so to speak that's been going around about all the budget colored pencils that come from china and to be honest this is no way by any means a video to discredit or smear the Chinese based colored pencil companies. Trust me, I myself absolutely love my budget pencils. You guys know that, but this is an educational video because I feel that knowledge is power. And the more educated we are about our products and what we're buying and who we're buying it from, that helps us to make a better conscientious decision of the different products that we decide that we want to purchase and use in our beloved hobby. Lately in the coloring community, there have been lots and lots and lots of pencils produced and they all seem to be pretty much the same in a lot of aspects. And a lot of us are confused on, okay, which brands are the same? Which brands are different? Why do they look the same? Why do they color the same? Why have they changed the names? All this can be very confusing, especially to a beginner colorist who's trying to find that perfect set of colored pencils to make their artwork and their coloring pages really something exceptional and really something that they can be proud of and enjoy the process. So today I'm going to break down the one thing that I see that most people are really, really, really interested in and kind of that's the go-all, say-all, and that's the oil base versus wax base issue. So guys, I'm going to break that down today as clearly as I possibly can, and we'll see if it can help you out in your decision-making process from here on out. So when it comes to the question about is a colored pencil oil base or wax base, it's not always about getting the right answers. Most of the time, it's about asking the right question. That detective is the right question. Will Smith, thank you, appreciate it. <laughs> I came up with this, with this thought, you know, most of the time it's not about getting the right answers, it's about asking the right questions. So if you ask the right questions, you will get the answer that you're looking for. Now, the reason I say that is because a lot of people ask the question on the listing for the Starjoy colored pencils. Well, not a lot of people, only one person I could see, but they asked, were these pencils oil-based or wax-based? And the reason they asked this question was because, of course, of the concern of are the Starjoy pencils the same formula as the Deli colored pencils, which are advertised as an oil-based pencil. 
So the manufacturer did give that person an answer and he said that they were oil-based pencils. And a lot of other people were giving that person an answer and they were saying they were wax-based and a couple of people were saying they were oil-based, but the manufacturer did come through with the answer and said that they were oil-based. So this gets us to thinking, okay, oil-based, wax-based, how much of a difference really is there? Does it really make a difference? And I referenced two videos from two YouTubers that I watched these videos years and years and years ago and it really opened my eyes to seeing that the oil base, wax base determination really doesn't determine the performance of your pencils necessarily. Now, where did we come up with this gauge, so to speak? Well, the two heavy hitters in the color pencil world, Prismacolor and Faber-Castell Polychromos, those are like the standard of your wax base versus your oil base pencils. And we know the characteristics of a genuine wax base pencil and the genuine oil base pencil. We know that a wax base pencil like Prismacolor will be a softer lead. It blends easier. It's very, very supple and smooth and it just lays down like butter. And we know an oil-based pencil is going to have a little bit harder or firmer lead. It's going to have kind of like that dry lay down where the color does not get really, really shiny, but it's very, very saturated. The, the lead holds a really good point. It doesn't get dull very fast like a wax-based pencil. And it usually can do very fine detail work better than a wax-based softer pencil. So those are the two characteristics of the oil-based versus wax-based pencils. So we've kind of gauged everything on oil-based, wax-based, Prismacolor, Polychromos, but is that really what it's all about? Now I'm going to reveal to you some things that I was educated upon by the manufacturer of these colored pencils and of, of all of the colored pencils that are made from China, from Arteza to Castle Art to Starjoy to Brute Funner, Guanghui, One Shui, Sue Color, all of these colored pencils have one thing in common and this manufacturer told me the secret and it goes for every last one of the pencils that are made in China. So we'll get to that in a little bit. But first and foremost, I want to discuss with you a few things that I was kind of misled to believe at the beginning of my coloring journey. And I kind of took those things for law when they really weren't the complete and absolute transparent knowledgeable truth. So the first thing that I was told was that if any word of a, if any colored pencils had the word poly in their title, like polychromos, polycolor, um, just any any color pencil that has poly on it, that meant that they were oil based because the word poly means oil. And I come to find out that wasn't true. <laughs> so I looked up a couple of things in the dictionary and I'm going to share those with you. But the word poly actually means many, much, containing much of a specific thing. And then chrome is a noun combining form or adjective combining form that means colored thing. So people were saying, well, polychromos means many colors. Well, actually the definition for the word polychrome, it's an adjective meaning related to or made with or decorated in several colors, or it means colorful, prismatic, rainbow, or very colored. But the word polychromos with an O on the end is actually a name brand. It's not the say-all 
live all of oil-based pencils. The word is derived from polychrome, which means, of course, many colors. That's true. But I was kind of led to believe that polychromos is just, that's oil-based, that's the law, that's what it is. Every pencil that says oil-based or oily colored pencil should mimic the polychromos or they should have the same qualities as an oil-based pencil. So what really makes up a colored pencil? What are the variants of a colored pencil? Well, a colored pencil, every last one of them has a measure of oil and wax and binder and pigment in them. The only difference is the different amounts of which item they have more of. For example, a Polychromos by Faber-Castell, they have binders and oils and pigments. So the oil that they use for their color pencil are specifically designed for their pencils. They have a special ingredient and they contain more oil than wax. The wax in a pencil allows them to be very smooth and lay down color flat and very opaquely, so to speak. So your wax-based pencil, like a Prismacolor, is mainly wax, a binder, and pigment. And it may have a little bit of oil in it for that sheen and that smoothness, but it doesn't have as nearly much oil in it as a polychromos or oil-based pencil. So that's why it would be verified or marketed as an wax-based pencil. So every pencil has that combination of items in it or ingredients in it. It's just the amounts of those ingredients that causes it to be marketed or identified as oil-based or wax-based. And you can read more upon this subject in the links that I have posted in the descriptions below if you would like more detailed explanation of the makeup and components of your colored pencils. Now let's get down to the real concern. Are the Chinese-made manufactured colored pencils really oil-based or wax-based? So I contacted the manufacturer of the Starjoy pencils and asked him the right question. And here's what I asked him. And here is his response. So right out of the horse's mouth, we get the answer that all of the Chinese made budget pencils that have these labels on them that say oil based, oily colored pencils, they really aren't. They really don't actually classify like an actual Faber-Castell polychromos that tells you exactly the oil that they're using and how much so-called oil is in their pencils. That's why there's so much confusion about how the budget pencils perform. There is actually a much more important question that we need to be asking when we're in the market for look, looking for a budget brand colored pencil that performs the way we want it to perform. And that important aspect or question is how hard or firm is the lead? How soft is the lead? What's the pigment quality? Is there consistency in the way all of the colored pencils color? In the finished product, does it lay down smoothly? Is it scratchy? Those are the questions that we need to be asking our fellow colorists if they have a set. We don't just need to ask the question, is it oil-based or is it wax-based? Because that question is actually irrelevant. 
It may have been relevant at some point in the budget pencil community, but because of the mass production of all of these budget colored pencils being absolutely the exact same pencils made by the exact same manufacturers, we have to be educated as colorists now more than ever because we don't have the funds or the means to keep buying the same colored pencils with the exact same qualities and coloring capabilities over and over and over and over again. It actually gets kind of frustrating. I had already been aware of this practice of cross-labeling, so to speak, or multi brand, multi-manufacturing, you know, pencils and so forth. But I don't think we as a coloring community paid much mind to it until it was kind of exposed. And it's been happening for years. Do you remember the Guanghui Hero colored pencils? Yes, those pencils. Guys, it got so bad until people were like, I gotta have those pencils, they're the best. But then one shoey came out, then South Sun came out, then Brute Funner came out, then Sue Color came out and it just grew and grew and grew to a huge amount of colored pencil manufacturers that were making the exact same pencils. They just had a couple different labels on them, but if you had a pencil that looked like this, With this name and this circle label and number on it, it's pretty much the same exact pencil. So guys, it's it's been a ride. But is this a knock on the Chinese manufacturers saying that they're trying to dupe us or they're trying to deceive us by putting out all these different pencils and by the same names and different names and the same quality? Actually, no, it's just marketing. It's how all companies market products to try to sell them. They know that most of us are looking for an oil-based pencil because we're looking for that polychromos, fiber castell feel. But in actuality, there's more to it than asking that one question, is it oil-based? It goes much further than that. And I have proof in that because these two colored pencils, they're the exact same brand made by Brute Funner, but they color completely different. This is the square version of the Brute Funner colored pencils. And many people say that this is the original Brute Funner, but this is the Black Barrel Brute Funners. And these are more waxy. They, they color more like a wax-based pencil. They're softer and they're lead. These are actually coloring like an oil-based pencil. There, the lead is harder, it's smoother, it's a little bit drier, lay down. But guys, these both are Brute Funner oily colored pencils. Same manufacturer, same company, same brand name, but different pencil qualities. Now, let me again clarify. I absolutely love every color pencil that I have in my collection, except for a couple. And you probably know which couple those are because I have mentioned it already. But all of these pencils that I've shown you in this video, I really, really, really like them. And I love that I have them in my collection and they're very unique. And I showed you in the video prior to this one how I colored with my Starjoy color pencils and they were amazing. I mean, I may start liking those pencils better than my Prismas. And that's that's a high regard comment to say. So it, the company said that those are wax-based pencils and not oil-based pencils. And they perform differently than a Prisma, but yet the same, if that makes 
any sense, guys. It's like a perfect combination of a Prisma and a Polychromos. I mean, perfect combination. It doesn't smear like a Prisma and it holds a point like a Polychromos. So many people ask, well, does it color like a Prisma or does it color like a Polychromos? If you can get that happy medium, then you're doing 100. So these are the questions that you need to start asking your fellow colorists or the manufacturers on Amazon or however you can get the question to them. Ask them those details about the performance of the pencil and not just, is this oil-based or is this wax-based? Because guess what? Starjoy Manufacturer says it doesn't matter. There is no difference in the labeling. It's just a difference in translation, which means, hey, we'll just stick whatever on the label that sells. So guys, like I said, education, knowledge at this point in our coloring journey is the most important thing that we can possess. If we are able to make conscientious, educated decisions on what we should buy to use in our hobby, then we're doing a hundred. We're not only saving a tree, but we're also saving our pocketbooks, some cash, some cold hard cash to use on a book maybe, or another type of coloring supply. So like I said, this is by no means to discredit the budget-friendly Chinese manufactured color pencils. I love them. There are some amazing pencils in this category. But the key is for us to be educated and to realize that wax base and oil base when it comes to a budget-friendly pencil is not the question to be asking. So thank you so much for tuning into this video, guys. If you enjoy videos like these, please consider subscribing to the channel. I make videos very often and I listen to all of your requests, guys. So if you would like to see a specific video or hear me speak on a specific subject or opinion about our coloring community life, just leave it in the comments below and I will definitely get back with you on that. So give this video a big Go thumbs up if you found the content educational and informative and don't forget to ring that bell so you will not miss the next episode from the dollar diva guys thank you so much and you have a wonderful wonderful rest of the day and as always happy coloring bye